Goku vs. Daishinkan. The great priest starts to smile and says, Does that mean that you decided to fight me again? To complete your training in the Son Goku Heavenly Palace? You must have forgotten that just now when you decided to fight me at Brawly's side, you couldn't do anything in battle. You should pay more attention. At that moment, Goku starts watching and says, Great priest, I know that you are the one above all, but if I am in a war where all beings are extremely powerful, I need to show even greater performance and I believe that I will be able to get stronger and stronger. The high priest begins to laugh. Mera smiles and speaks. Goku really is amazing. No matter how strong the enemies he fights are, he always shows his performance and starts to raise his power more and more. Well done, son Goku. Show what you're really capable of. Broly analyzes the situation and says, It seems that I managed to control my power more and more. Is this the skill level I reached? I only want to show those beings who are my enemies. It won't be enough to train against any other warrior. Be an angel, that is, whoever fights against me, I will show my true ability and what I am really capable of. I'm Broly the Sand from Universe 7. At that moment, we can see that Broly's abilities were getting higher and higher. Broly's powers were reaching another level. It seems that it was time for us to see the Saiyan level being higher and higher. The High Priest says, Well, that means you want to show all your power by fighting me, don't you, Goku? I'm really curious to know what new skill level you got. Goku starts to smile and says, In fact, I had already managed to use it once in the Room of the Gods when I trained with Gon, but for a short time I thought it was too risky. The High Priest starts watching with an astonished face and says, You mean that even when he fought all these enemies, he was still hiding his power? He hadn't used all of his strength and now he's showing all that performance. You really are a fascinating being, Goku. But what are you keeping in the middle of all this? A small flashback begins to appear. Goku and Gon in the Room of Time. Goku, when he was next to Gon, he had taught Gon every technique he knew about mastering Ultra Instinct. Gon says, Father, you yourself not having heavenly blood, you managed to raise your power higher and higher. Your skills really are amazing. Does that mean then that's all the power you have? If you use this in battle, you could definitely defeat any enemy that was. At that instant, Goku says, Using these powers really is a double-edged sword. In the same way that I can be winning a battle, my energy can reach its maximum and at the same time run out. If I run out, I won't be able to defeat anyone else. Then we would have a lot of problems when they were involved in all of this. Can you understand? We need to analyze this whole situation. Gone when fighting Goku, he's amazed to see Goku's maximum power level. Goku faints. Moments pass after Goku wakes up. Gon is fascinated. This is my dad and I need to get a lot stronger too. I'm sure we'll be stronger together. Back to current times. Goku looks at the great priest and says, Great priest, I was really saving that skill to use against the strongest. So please, see and appreciate all this power of mine. Let's start. Alright partner, why don't you whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any videos and stay well connected to our entire universe of Z Warriors. Let's get back to it. Planet Beerus. Beerus starts to question himself and says, Whis, Goku and Broly are taking a long time to get here. This comes across as a joke. I had already warned. Goku should just bring Broly here. He's one of the war potentials, as the two must be taking their time. A big threat might have appeared now. Just now I felt the energy of the destruction cats. Sure enough, they were attacked by them. We starts laughing and says, Mr. Beerus, calm down. You know very well that their energy is no longer on the planet of the Destruction Cats, much less on the planet Vampire. 
Whis creates a vision directly from his staff where it shows that Goku and Broly are on the planet of the Grand Priest Palace. Beerus says, Are they still training and wanting to get more powerful? That war is near. The angel meeting is probably about to happen. What's going on with that? The meeting of the angels is very close. Let's analyze the situation. It can get more and more intense. At that moment, everything seemed to be going smoothly, but we can imagine that very powerful beings have not yet appeared. In this heavenly war, we don't know how long it will last, and much less how things will work. But we are getting into a fight where it differs from a universal war. The celestial war is colluding between the mortals of the universe and the angels. Some demons are getting involved, but we have to know, and it has to be okay. Of course, there are still other realms and other beings that are not getting involved, and that still manages to be my biggest fear. Whis watches and speaks. You mean after this war is over, regardless of who wins, could another threat still appear? We will need to analyze all this very carefully. Let's try to really understand what will happen. Many reflections begin to be created. Many points begin to be questioned. Goku begins to increase his powers more and more inside the Grand Priest Palace. Light years begin to shudder. We can see that Beerus starts to smile and says, It means then, that they will get more powerful? This is interesting. Whis. How long has it been since I trained? Whis responds, Millennia, we can say, Sir Beerus. But don't tell me that. At that moment, Beerus asks Whis to prepare the ground in the room of the gods, that the god of destruction of Universe 7 will undergo a new training. Whis smiles and says, As you wish, my lord, the room of the gods will be ready in one hour for your destruction training. Back to the Grand Priest Palace. Goku had activated the mastery of Ultra Instinct fighting the Great Priest. Goku began to increase his powers more and more. Goku has reached Ultra Instinct level 3 form. The High Priest begins to smile and says, So that's your skill. That's the strength level you want to do. Very well. Goku starts to land several blows on the Great Priest, showing his real power. Goku is getting more and more powerful. The Great Priest is impressed, starts to launch several blasts of energy on Goku. Goku with the mastery of Ultra Instinct tries to dodge until the moment when the Great Priest manages to land a big punch on Goku. Goku says, Looks like this guy actually has totally different powers. His skills are totally outsized, they're on another level. It really seems that his strength is far beyond that of anyone else. Good, let's see what we're capable of. We will see what will happen. The High Priest says, Goku, show your true energy. I believe that you will be able to defeat anyone, but you will still not be stronger than me. The Great Priest begins to smile. The Great Priest begins to show various abilities. A lot of energy begins to be developed in front of Batala. Goku raises a large blast of energy and launches it over the body of the Great Priest. Goku ends up losing his level 3 transformation. The Great Priest starts to smile and says, Well done, son Goku. You had a much better performance. You even managed to get my clothes dirty. Goku says, Looks like this guy is really crazy. I couldn't do almost anything. The High Priest is very powerful. Goku weakened within moments, Merus recovers Goku's energy. Goku returns to his normal state. At that moment, a presence appears in the palace of the Great Priest and says, Daishin Khan, Master Zeno is sleeping. What does that mean? The High Priest says, Good. Among all, the only one I didn't want to be here was you one of Lord Zeno's second personality. Lord Zeno, while he sleeps, let us work it out. Because this heavenly war will pass and it will need our help. 
At that moment, Zeno-sama's first guard appears in front of the great priest and Goku and speaks. That's enough for me. You will fight me here now. If I win, I would be allowed to use magic to eliminate the universes and I will end it all now. Otherwise, if you win, you can do whatever you want. Goku starts watching and asks what's going on. Mera says, This is one of Zeno-sama's guards. The one who is as powerful as the high priest. The great priest prepares for battle. Zeno-sama's guard gets into battle stance. Who will emerge victorious? Ten days ago at Zeno-sama's palace, those two beings in Zeno's palace who had practically never said a word are talking now. Every 1000 years pass, Zeno-sama sleeps for one year. Zeno-sama has had several battles and that's why he was considered the one who was the creator of everything. Because he could erase any universe whenever he wanted. Everyone who has a great magic level can have an advantage against warriors who have great powers. At this moment, we can see that there are some enemies within the other universes that have more power. Even then, Zeno-sama, considering the magic level of strength. For this situation, who resolves the battle are your two guards who are the essence of your forces. At that moment, one of Zeno-sama's guards talks about his master in his sleep. It looks like a big battle is approaching. I can feel this energy. Perhaps it would be interesting if we ended it all now. But making a decision while Lord Zeno-sama is sleeping might not be the best decision to make. However, I do not trust 100% in the attitudes of the great priest. We have seen that woman in the past did many foolish things against all the gods. The high priest tried to help her. Don't you remember? Zeno-sama's second guard says, It seems that when one race is involved in another battle, it continues to work the same way. They will never be able to betray their own races. They will always want to unite with what suits them. But there's no way this mortal Son Goku. Zeno-sama would certainly like the attitudes he made. But still, it's a little worrying. We would need to really understand how these fights were going to play out. Well, let's wait for everything that will happen. If any movement of the High Priest is performed, we will get involved. I advise you to stay here as I go to the battlefield. We can only answer for present Zenosama, as alternate future Zenosama guards don't want to move. It reminds me of the last past battle we had. It seems that after millennia, we are going to use upper strength again. Information about Zenosama and the Grand Priest past is beginning to be explained. Back to present times. Goku is trying to understand why one of Zenosama's guards is standing in front of the Great Priest. Zenosama's guard number one says, Daishinkan, how long I haven't tested your powers. We will decide who will handle the situation going forward. I never agreed with the ideal of the angels. But the moment the angels had a protection agreement with the creator of everything, I never questioned. But at that moment, in Zeno-sama's absence, we will need to deal with a certain situation, don't you think? Zeno-sama is a child and in many moments, we have to make the decision for him. At that moment, the great priest starts to smile and says, I don't care what you want to do. I don't care if you think you can defeat one of the top five most powerful in the universe. You may come. At that moment, we can see that the Great Priest begins to raise his power more and more and all the universes begin to shake. The High Priest against Zeno-sama's first guard, the one that until now has its powers unknown. The battle had begun, great powers were being raised more and more. We could see that the heavenly strength level was totally different from others. Goku questions himself. The race of the great priest, we already know that the race of an angel. But after all, what race are these Zeno gods? I can't understand who they really are. Merus, who watched everything, says, Lord Goku, this is a very difficult situation. Let's just look. What will happen during this battle? It can really be something to worry about. Those two weren't supposed to be fighting right now. 
It looks like something or someone is trying to control it. At that instant, the high priest says, I think you are very wrong. I'm not the real enemy and it doesn't have to be just my way. It's just not right to erase other universes where other mortals have nothing to do. This is war. This is a time when we must seek to bring peace and the best way to balance. I already said, when a god of destruction doesn't make the best decision, the decision that has to be made is the decision of the angels. Zenosama's first god says, Do you really always believe that? As if the angels know what they are doing. If you stop to realize the reason for this great war was that most of the renegade angels had allied themselves with that woman. As they have the greatest strength, they ended up wanting to destroy everything. If millennia ago I had finished them all instead of you listening to your decision to seal them, this wouldn't be happening now. The great priest starts laughing and says, It seems like it's no use. There's no way I'm still trying to talk to you. If fighting is what you want, well and good. The battle goes on. Unknown Galaxy, 8th Angelic Palace. Cypher begins to speak. It seems that the plans are really going the way you said. You really know very well how to cause great intrigue. The mother of angels says, Sometimes you don't have to do much. Sometimes they just come into conflict. For being mortals, humans and gods try to reconcile. I didn't have to do anything. Techniques like Zyros's kiss of death and other abilities don't work very well here either. But this turns out to be extremely interesting. See the powers and see the skills they can show off. They will certainly become fascinating. Well, let's see how long or where the limit of the powers they show will be. At this moment, my son, it will be checkmate time. Checkmate is that moment when it doesn't matter what the decision is or what attitude either of them wants to show. They won't be able to solve anything. Cypher starts laughing and says, Looks like my brothers had someone to pull. That intelligence and that audacity certainly came from you. Alright, let's wait. Huge shudders begin to happen directly in the Daishin Khan palace. Goku begins to understand and wonders why they are fighting. Goku says, This is very strange. Does it seem like they want to get into a conflict or that someone is trying to do something? No, that cannot happen. Please, let's try to get into some context. At that instant, the high priest says, You must pay close attention. You know everything that happened in the past and that there were other enemies that were much more powerful. It is not just to blame the angels for this. Zenosama's first guard says, If anything happens to Zenosama, know that the blame will fall on you all. At that moment, a huge explosion begins to happen. Goku again had activated his new transformation and says, Please stop! At that moment, the great priest and Zenosama's first guard were surprised by the strength that Goku was showing. The high priest smiles. Zenosama's guard remains serious. At that moment, Zeno's guard speaks. What is this boy trying to interfere in our battle? The high priest says, Are you the only one who hasn't noticed yet? Zenosama's first guard looks on and says, what do you mean? The high priest says, It doesn't matter. How long have we been fighting here? This fight won't do anything. Possibly it would be a draw and time is running out. Analyze now the presences that are here. We can feel that there is someone else besides us in this room. Zenosama's first guard gets worried and speaks. It's not possible. At that moment, a big smile and a voice comes from a woman. How long has it been, Daishinkan? 
Zeno's minion for so long. The high priest makes a serious face. Goku asks, Who is talking? Maris makes a straight face and says, Looks like the mother of angels has finally appeared. The high priest stands face to face with the mother of angels, the one who was once reigning in the reign of angels beside her. Goku beside Broly, Maris and Zenosama's first guard are watching. Zenosama's first guard says, So because of my ambition to resolve this entire situation and challenge the high priest, I ended up not realizing you were here, right Zakai. Goku watches and says, Zakai? You mean that's the name of the one who ruled all the angels? The great priest starts to smile and says, Exactly. Here we can see that Zakai is back with his power probably almost 100%. And all the battles that took place were just to strengthen her angelic and dark energy. How long it has been. It seemed like it would be nice never to see you again. But since you're here, to what do I owe your visit to? I find it very difficult for you alone to want to challenge all of us. At that instant, Sakai looks at the high priest and says, Don't rush Dai Shinkan yet. You are nothing before me. I have not engaged in any battle unlike you. The only one who is breaking the rules you create is yourself. After having used a divine redemption on the destruction cats, and having eliminated half of them. But you should know that I already brought them back. But still, very audacious of you. Cypher is here with me. He could have challenged you, but I decided not to get into more conflicts. I just watched the things that were happening. The time has passed. But I don't think anyone managed to forget everything that happened in the past. You and a horde of angels decided to turn against even the angels themselves. Other gods of destruction who possessed such high powers ended up by my side. From that moment, we can see that Ziel will not accept anything you want to do against him. But still, many things can happen. Don't you remember how fascinating all that was in the past? Our race could be above all if you hadn't decided to follow Zenosama. Why did you do that? Explain to me, Daishin Khan. Goku doesn't quite understand what's going on. Maris watches and speaks. Lord Goku, this is about matters of the past, matters only the High Priest knows. These are situations they went through millennia ago. The powers that the great priest managed to raise were very high powers. He knew that he needed to get stronger every time and that a big threat could still appear. At that instant, the high priest says, What are you trying to say with all this? And what are you thinking of doing? At that moment, the mother of angels starts to laugh and says, I know that with you I could never count, so this time I decided to bring him, the being from the past, back here with me. The high priest changes his face to an angry one and says, I mean, are you really going to do it? Does that mean you'll actually have that audacity? So it looks like you didn't just come here for the chat. Goku questions himself, Who is this being they're talking about? What's happening? Who is he? Zenosama's first guard looks on and says, Looks like she's really going to do it. She will release the one who knows everything, or perhaps the true creator of everything. Zalama, the creator of the Super Dragon Balls. Instant, Goku starts to speak. Zalama, how is he the true creator? I don't understand anything anymore. What's happening? But Zenosama and the High Priest, what do they have to do with it? Merus responds, In addition to all these celestial wars, in the past there existed a being who was the creator of everything, and another realm called the Realm of Dragons. 
This realm was the one that could perform extremely high powers and cause various catastrophes. It was a power that would go beyond the power of any of the other gods. If we analyze it all, maybe he could fear even more powers than Zenosama himself. For some reason, I prefer to believe that my father was right. He knew that from Zelama's thoughts and ideals, he could want to break up and cause anything. So we really need to understand, the battles will still get more intriguing. Zelama's powers were extremely catastrophic. My father, alongside the angels who decided to stay by his side, managed to arrest this threat and even the mother of the angels. But apparently what we've seen in the past, perhaps it was not the true reality. Goku starts to question himself and says, Like this? What are you saying? What are you talking? At that moment, Zenosama's first guard says, Something strange is happening. There may be a traitor among us. Because how did they make it back? To me, it doesn't matter. I seem to be getting it now. Angelic power and dark magic power in a war sometimes mean nothing. Sometimes we just have to solve the whole situation like real barbarians, throwing punches and proving that we are the strongest. Son Goku, I think it's important for you to understand anyone's ideal here. The only thing you need to know is the level of power these guys are showing. They don't want to bring any peace to our universe. They just want to destroy everything and show that they are the strongest. At that moment, you will be able to choose which side you are on. Goku starts watching and says, I don't know why you're asking me this. We came here just to train with the great priest, and if we analyze it, maybe it was your fault. So much so that the high priest let his guard down, and this woman is here in front of him. At that moment, the high priest was silent, just watching. The high priest watches Zakai and speaks, Divine Redemption, Secret Sealing Technique. At that moment, the High Priest will try to strike the blow on the Mother of Angels. Merus holds his hand and says, Don't you dare! You as being and the creator of everything, letting their taunts work out is a mistake. Even if Salama is back, we will be able to resolve the battle against everyone. After all, this is a heavenly war. For a few moments, the great priest who was the example of calm in person lost his patience. But after the words of Merus, he even returned to his normal sanity. The high priest begins to laugh. Zakai is surprised. The high priest says, It doesn't matter who you bring back or what you do. Know that even though you are very powerful, currently all our universes have different powers and are increasingly stronger. There are warriors here who are mortal and have a high potential to defeat many gods of destruction and many angels. You should believe more in your army as we believe in our warriors. We as celestial beings will be the last to engage in battle, so until then we will not meet again. Zakai is surprised that Daishinkan continued with a calm in his body. Zakai starts laughing and says, Very well. Worthy of the great priest, I hope my visit has been good for you. After all, I am the mother of angels. Boy, Goku is your name, isn't it? And are you Broly? I really heard great things from you guys. I would like them to ally themselves with me, but looking at this, I realize that it will not be possible. So know that no matter how powerful you are, we will finish you off. Soon, we will see each other again. Sakai, the mother of angels, leaves the celestial palace. Moments pass after the conversation of Zeno's first guard next to the great priest, Goku, Broly and Merus. Everyone ends up agreeing. Goku starts to smile and thanks him for the training he and Broly did. A whole day passed in the High Priest's Hall. The High Priest begins to laugh and says, At least now you already know some of the threats that will happen here. 
Goku gets excited to fight. Zeno's first guard continues with a serious expression and says, Interesting. I want to see soon what you will be able to do. Zeno's first guard enters into an agreement with the high priest and saw that the best course would be to leave it in the hands of mortals and right after the gods fight. At that moment, Mera smiles and says that she will fight alongside Goku in the celestial war. Goku and Broly say goodbye to the great priest. The two teleport directly to the planet Beerus. Whis says, Finally you arrived. Goku questions himself, What happened to the planet that half of it is all destroyed? At that moment, Whis uses a revitalization technique and makes the planet Beerus return to normal. Whis says, You can rest assured, it's okay. It's just Mr. Beerus who decided to carry out a new training after millennia. Goku is impressed and says, What? Did Mr. Beerus start training again? To be continued. Ultra Goku and Ultra Vegeta finally meet. There are three days left until the beginning of the Celestial War. Gon and Beerus finish their training inside the room of the gods on planet Beerus. Goku questions himself. What is Mr. Beerus up to doing another training? Mr. Beerus always sought to just observe everyone's training. How can we all see this performance? What's happening? Alright, looks like everyone is getting stronger. Goku prepares to head back to Earth. At that moment, Whis says, Perhaps it would be interesting not to comment at this moment that Gon is his son, Mr. Goku. Imagine what everyone would think. It would raise many questions and still be difficult to answer. Perhaps this could cause some meltdowns within all the people who know Mr. Goku. At that instant, Gon starts watching and says, It's okay, Mr. Whis, I'll let you. I think I can understand very well what is going to happen. Vado smiles and says, Maybe Mr. Goku's wife, Gohan and Goten, found this whole situation pretty weird. Mr. Goku's wife could even fight him. Well, it's better that things stay the way they are. Son Goku, I hope you get stronger and we can emerge victorious from this war. Still, everything is just the beginning. A great battle will develop and I believe in the potential of all Saiyans. It seems that this conviviality we had during these days made us very close and whether I want it or not, I am now worried about you. If all mortals from these universes are lucky, we will only enter the battlefield once the High Priest's order is given. Tomorrow, the meeting of the angels has already been scheduled. The High Priest has something to talk to us in the meantime. Take the day to rest and see everything that will happen. At that moment, Goku next to Broly and Gon thank Beerus and Whis for all the training and all the skills that were being shown. At that moment, Goku alongside Broly and Gon teleport to Earth. Moments ago on Earth, Gohan was getting anxious because he knew that the Celestial War was about to begin. Gohan says, Vegeta looks like we train and become much more powerful. Goten and Trunks are getting ready. Mr. Piccolo is coming. Looks like all the warriors on Earth are here, but he is still missing. At that moment, an enraged Vegeta speaks. Very well, this guy must have gotten a lot stronger too, but I already surpassed his powers. Kakarot, let's go soon, show up. Everyone was waiting for Goku. At that moment, Goku, Broly and Gon appear on Earth in Universe 7 in front of all the Z warriors. Goku speaks. Hey guys, did you miss me? Everyone starts to rejoice and everyone starts to be happy. The image of Goku brought hope to Earth because of all the times Goku saved them. A small flashback arises of Goku and in all the battles he has had. Vegeta watches and notices that Goku has gotten much stronger. Vegeta starts to smile. It seems that everyone started to rejoice at that moment. Gohan watches and speaks. It seems that in the course of all these days, each one here has had a more intense battle. We still carry out several trainings. 
We always knew that since that tournament of power, all the things that happened there showed that even more intriguing battles would take place. It seems that as we always seek to save the earth and we seek to save the universes, an enemy could always appear along the way. But still, we know what the real goal is. So let's resolve this whole situation. I know what everyone here is capable of. Goku starts to smile and says, You must have gotten much stronger. I'm sure that that way we can resolve any situation. Vegeta in a few moments activates his ultra ego, observes and speaks. Kakarot, Broly, did you bring a visitor? But who is this boy? At that moment, everyone watches gone. Gohan and Goten start talking. You are a lot like us. What's going on here? Goku starts to speak. It's because he is... At that moment, Broly interrupts Goku and says, Be quiet. He's a Saiyan from another universe who came after Mr. Whis's training. Vegeta has been watching and says, This boy must be very strong. Very well. Since he will help in the war, let's all go together. In that instant, Vegeta, after seeing that everyone got stronger, activates your other ego and says, Kakarot, before this war starts, I need you to fight me. Gohan and the others begin to observe and speak. Like this? Vegeta, we have to save our strength for the celestial war. At that moment, Goku starts laughing and speaks. I'm sure you have had some seed of the gods here, don't you Krillin? Krillin watches and says, Yes, we have seeds from the gods for celestial warfare. Goku says, Then that will be enough. Let's fight Vegeta. Everyone starts watching. Gohan says, It doesn't seem to matter. Even though we are Saiyans, we always want to know about battles. Come on. Goku and Vegeta start to have a big fight. Goku begins to show all his performance by activating his Ultra Instinct transformation. Goku's powers rise more and more and they get bigger. Goku says, I believe you got much stronger. I always believed in you. A few moments pass. Vegeta observes and speaks. I'm sure you're hiding the game from me. You managed to get much more powerful, but I won't show you my true essence either. After having trained directly with the great priest, I managed to surpass all the powers that should be displayed. The battle continues. Meanwhile, at Zenosama's palace, the high priest begins to assemble the celestial ceremony. We and all the other angels beside the gods of destruction meet the great priest. The high priest says, It seems that now all mortals have completed their training. Three days left until the celestial war. Now you will need to hear the truth about everything. This is our 15th celestial gathering since the existence of all the angels. We cannot leave all the responsibilities on the mortals, even though all of them have undergone training and become stronger. Yet if they fail, the responsibility falls on us. There are many enemies from the past who, in addition to extreme physical strength, still possess magical powers that are able to match or even surpass Xenosamas. Doesn't that get you excited? As critical as the situation is, this is the first time that we will be able to break the rule of angels and engage in a battle, even if it is to bring balance, but to show our true powers. We haven't done that in a long time. But still, I haven't gathered all of you here to say this. Know that the mother of angels Zyka and Zalama will probably still attack us at some point in the celestial war. But there is another being who is even more dangerous than all of them. To be continued, who is the high priest talking about? What's going on in the middle of all this? Regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you arrive here and share your thoughts in the comments below so we can get into a crazy debate. Whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. That's all there is to it and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.